My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we have a little mini Sephora haul it was not a mini price tag but it's just not a lot of products I decided to snag a couple of new things and a couple of very expensive things during the Sephora friends and family sale and I also redeemed my vouchers from my perfume sample sets which I opened in a previous video I did take your advice into account for the scents that I chose. Let's just go ahead and start there because I'm really excited to share these with you. Your recommendations were highly, highly valued in this decision. Each one of those sets gave me a voucher to redeem for a travel size spray or rollerball. And I ended up going with the replica by the fireplace and Skylar Vanilla Sky. These were two of the most mentioned. I'm pretty sure By the Fireplace was the most mentioned, but both of these were very highly favored in the comments of that video. And I agree. I, I spent some time testing the different samples that I got, and these were the two that I could see myself reaching for and using up the most. And I think that these would pair kind of nicely together too. So those are the first little goodies in this goodie box. Then I already filmed a video with this. This is a Givenchy foundation. It's the Skin Caring Glow. I really, really loved this one. Definitely go check out my video. I did a very intense wear test with this. We went through a lot, me and this foundation, and she really stuck by my side. So more info in that other video. I'll link it down in the description for you. I also picked up another foundation. This is a new release, and it's the one that I'm wearing today. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I'm going to show you this one in action. I did film my application for this, so I'm going to insert that and I'll give you my thoughts about this foundation while you see me applying it. But this packaging is very cute. As usual, Fenty does really cool packaging, I think. They do a great job of being minimal, but not bland. This is the Ease Drop blur and smooth tint stick foundation i'm using the shade four this is a light to medium coverage product you will see in the application demo here that it is quite buildable before i start applying i just like to show you a close-up of what my skin looks like with no product on it that way you can get a true feel for what the coverage looks like what my skin texture looks like all of that good stuff and hopefully this is helpful as we move through the application process i'm also only going to apply to one side of my face first that way you can see a true side by side today i'm just blending this in with my fingertips i have struggled in the past with Fenty foundation textures on my dry skin. Even the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation really did not work well for me, but I was really encouraged by the description of this stick foundation because it's described as light coverage and creamy and smooth and natural finish, and it also says that it's supposed to be hydrating. So I was feeling optimistic and I really like Fenty products in general. I think that their packaging is really well done. It's one of the few examples of non-boring minimalist packaging on the shelves in Sephora right now in my opinion and a lot of their formulations have been great for me but I just haven't found the right thing as far as like a base product from the brand yet. The side-by-side -side here is showing a beautiful coverage. I do think that this has a nice buildable light coverage. I do think this has a bit of a blurring effect, but as is typical with blurring or smoothing products, I do think that it does look a little bit flat, a little bit dry on my skin. 
I'm doing a little bit of building up here because I'm not going to wear concealer today. I'm just going to wear this foundation by itself as my base product. As I was finishing up my face and moving over to the other half of my face to obviously even out this foundation, I did notice more of that dryness look creeping in in certain spots around my face. I will say I've done my usual full skincare routine, used my moisturizer and sunscreen just as I do every single day before I apply my makeup. So I already had moisturized prepped skin, but as I've worn this foundation a few more times, I've found a better formula, I guess I could say, to really make this texture work for my particular skin type. Now this initial application, I do think it looks fine, especially from just a normal conversational distance, but when you get really close up and personal, you can start to see these little patches where it just looks a little bit dry. It looks a little bit makeup-y on the skin. I mitigated that by doing some building up where I wanted more coverage. And then before I blended that in with a sponge, I sprayed my face with a dewy setting spray. And then I went in with my sponge and blended in that extra coverage. This really helped to mitigate some of that dry look. This is what I've been doing with this foundation as I've been testing it since. And I've also been using my glowy sunscreen from e.l.f. underneath instead of just my regular inky list dewy sunscreen and that little bit of glow underneath as a primer has really helped with this texture on my skin as well. You can see here after the setting spray and blending in with a sponge I got a little bit more coverage to where I don't feel that I need any concealer but it also helped lighten up some of that powdery or more dry look on the skin as well. I've now worn this a few times since this particular demo was filmed and I really feel like I've hit my stride with this foundation and so far it's working out well for me. Typically I don't show my samples in my hauls. I usually don't even add them because I'm just not interested but I got this little mini, cute mini little sample. This is the Kosas Airbrow, and I even got to pick my shade, so I got dark brown. Oh man, this thing is so baby. Look how teeny tiny this is. This is so cute. I'm a tinted brow gel type of gal, so I'm very interested to try this out. And you know what? I'm always open to finding a new staple product, so we'll see. Maybe it'll be this. This is also just so cute. I want to put it in my Barbie dream house, which I don't actually own. But if I did, I would put this in there. I also got these other two really good samples. I have an Ellis perfume in one of my sample sets. This is the vanilla milk from Ellis. So I have the sampler for B here. Let's just give it a little spritz and see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so it says dark rum, honey, cinnamon, sandalwood, vanilla bean, and cacao. Definitely has a powdery scent to it that I didn't expect, but that does cut a lot of the sweetness since we do have some very sweet ingredients in here. Some sweet fragrance notes, I should say. It smells pretty good. It actually kind of reminds me in a weird way of the um, tobacco vanille from Tom Ford. It's like a baby sister version of that, but in a weird way, it kind of reminds me of that one. And I also got this Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia, or as they say in Portuguese, Bom Dia bright cream infused with renewing fruit AHAs. Okay, so that's cute. I'll definitely use that up. Like I said, this is sort of a mini haul. I only have three more products left. They are all skincare items. This is a repurchase. This is actually my third time buying this. This is the dewy sunscreen from the Inky List. Not to be dramatic, but this is the absolute best face sunscreen I've ever worn. Do not go a day without wearing this. I love it so much. It never makes my eyes burn. It never messes up my makeup. It makes my skin look beautiful. I wear this all the time with no makeup on top of it 
and it just is hydrating. It's not dewy in like an oil slick type of way, but just where it looks like I just did my skincare type of way, which I love. I will never stop buying this and I'm surprised that I haven't gone through more of these tubes. I bought this back in the spring and I'm now on my third one, so I should have bought two with the discount, but that's all right. There'll be another sale and then I'll replace it again then. Also, this isn't that expensive, so I have no problem buying this not on sale. To be honest with you, I think this was only like 15-ish bucks, maybe less. Either way, it's worth every penny. This next item was not a need, but it was a want. I have to blame an influencer for this one because Lauren May Beauty made a reel that made me add this to my car. So I blame her for this 100%, but I know that this is a good investment. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a little limited edition one. It's pink lemonade. It looks so cool. It's very Dr. Seuss, which is fun. And I'm sure that it smells great. I'm sure that it feels amazing. I love these. I've gone through a bunch of these. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that little swirly twirly. Reminds me of a poly whirl. I've been spending way too much time with my eight year old. I still have one of these going strong, so I didn't need to replace it, but the limited edition prettiness drew me in and I justified it by knowing that this is the type of product that I use all the time and I use up frequently, so at least there's that. The last product is another replacement and I was literally waiting for a sale to replace this because this is such an expensive item. This is from Sunday Riley. It's their Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This is the only retinol product that I've been able to use that doesn't completely freak out my skin. I already have really dry skin to begin with. You know, I'm 37. I'm almost 38 at this point. It had been recommended for a while that I add a retinol into my skincare routine by my esthetician, and I tried a lot of different products. I tried adding them slowly. I tried waiting out the initial sensitivity, and nothing ever got better for me. This is the only thing that I've been able to use consistently without making my skin literally worse all the time. This is an extremely pricey product, but it does last a long time because a little goes a long way and I don't use this every single night. I try to do it every other night and I do notice a really big difference in my skin. It feels better, it looks better, and I just, I was able to grab it on sale at least but still hurts a little bit. Like I said, it's not that it was a mini price tag. It was just, I did stock up on some expensive things. So this is the last item in my haul. I think I did pretty well. These were my impulse buys. I'm still on the fence a little bit with the Fenty foundation stick, but you know, I think it looks pretty good. I've been wearing it for a couple hours and I think my skin looks really nice. Again, only time will tell. I haven't been able to give this one a rigorous wear test like I did with the Givenchy foundation. Two replacements of products that I know I've used up before and I know that I'm gonna use up again. Pretty much daily staple skincare type of items. Wildly opposite ends of the price spectrum, but both things that I've come to really rely on and I feel like have done incredible work for my skin. And if you saw the wear test for this one, then you already know that this is pricey, but it does some pretty hard work. That's everything I picked up in my Sephora friends and family sale haul. Thank you so much for the recommendations and helping me select my perfumes from my favorite sets. I always appreciate your input. I would love to hear, have you picked anything up lately from Sephora? Do you have any of those really high price tag staple items that you hold on for a sale to replace like me and my Luna oil? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Samples and uh, really crushing it, and by crushing it I mean sucking. Sorry. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> I need just a little sippy sip of water. It's so hot. Please drink water. Please drink your water. It's giving Barbie.
Only 90s kids will get it. Sorry. Can we just take a moment for this makeup? Because I feel like a sultry little fall vampire with my burgundy leaf on my earring matching my burgundy eyeshadow. I have some sassy lashes on today. I've got my Summer Abroad cream blushes that make me feel like the cutest person alive every time I wear them. I'm just feeling myself today. And you know what? I hope you're feeling yourself today too because you're pretty awesome. And if you're not, that's okay. Some days I'm also not feeling myself, so I get it. But I hope that tomorrow you'll be back on that bad train like you deserve to be. Oh, I should probably censor that bad word. Sorry, Grandma. All right, thanks for watching. I love your faces, each and every one of them, so incredibly much. And I will see you really soon. And I love you. Okay, bye.